Stop. Hey, Rosie, what's all this junk everywhere? Oh, it's not junk. Well, what is it then? Oh, it's useful. Useful for what? Oh, I'll see, will I? And will I be seeing any clues today? Let's have a look in the songbook, shall we? See if there's any in there. Oh, no, nothing in there. Come on then, Rosie. Let's have a look at your clues. <laughs> So we've got a hat and a coat. So a hat and a coat. And what's this? A pair of trousers. Hmm, looks like we've got a song about clothes. Is it a clothes song, Rosie? Ooh, not exactly, but has it got clothes in it? Oh, good. Well, that's something to go on. Can you think of a song with clothes in? We can. We know a song with clothes, Mr Jolly. Oh, do you, Millie? Do you, Morris? Which one is it, then? Well, it goes like this. Oh, which one first, Millie? Trousers. Trousers, right. You do the actions, Mr Jolly. Oh, all right, then. This, this is the way we put, put on our trousers, put on our trousers, put on our trousers. This is the way we put on our trousers when we get up in the morning. Oh, let's do coat now. Coat, right. This is the way we put on our coats, put on our coats, put on our coats. This is the way we put on our coats when we get up in the morning. Hats. Oh, hats. Why don't you try it, too? This is the way we put on our hats, put on our hats. Put on our hats. This is the way we put on our hats when we get up in the morning. Ha <laughs> ha, good. Now we're all dressed now then. Oh, and have we guessed a song? <laughs> oh no, well never mind. It was good fun anyway, wasn't it, Morris? And if a song is fun, it's never wasted. Isn't that right, Mr. J? That is right, Morris. Hey, can you hear that noise? Oh yes. Sounds like stamping feet. Something else to wear. Oh, well, maybe Rosie's song is a clothes song. Not exactly, she says. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, it is. Well, I know. Let's go and see if we can find anything else to help. Now, pick your shoes up, everyone. Oh, all right. Come on. Yeah. There you go. I'll see you later, then. See you later, Bye, Mr. Bye, Jolly. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. It's a bit funny, isn't it? A song with clothes in it. Well, perhaps it's the person who was wearing the clothes. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> oh, good. So now we've all we've got to do is uh, find out who it was that was wearing the clothes. Well, that could be anybody. Aha! Ladies and gentlemen, roll up, roll up and feast your ears on a musical spectacle never before seen in this part of the country. Roll up for the mellifluous Mr. Santorini and he's a magical piano. Mr. Santorini, this is a pleasant surprise. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. No, no, the pleasure's all mine. Oh, yes, if you insist then, I gather you are in need of a new direction. What? Well, Rosie's puzzle is a bit stuck, I understand. Oh, as a matter of fact, it is. Yes. yes. Can you help? 
Can I help? Yes, you are talking to Mr. Santorini and his magical piano. A magical piano? Oh, well, what does it do? D does it play all on its own? No, no, no. I play the piano. But what happens after that? Well, that's up to the piano. Oh, can you show us? Of course. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to select some music. Oh, yeah. oh, uh, this one. Uh -huh. Oh, a very good choice. Claire de Lune. That is French, you know. Oh, what does it mean? The light. Of the moon. Oh. <laughs> Rosie, I might need a little bit of help with this. Ah, thank you, dear one. Now, Mr. Jolly, Mr. Santorini and his magical piano. Present, Claire de Lune. Mr. Santorini, that was beautiful. Ah, the pleasure was mine, Mr. Jolly. No, no, the pleasure was mine. No, the pleasure was mine. The clue is yours. The clue? Yes, indeed. Look. Oh, it's the man in the moon. Thanks, Mr. Santorini. <laughs> ah, time to move on. Glad to have been of assistance, Mr. Jolly. Yes, thanks very much, Mr. Santorini. Do pop in, won't you, if you're passing? Oh, I will, Mr. Jolly, when I'm passing. Farewell. Farewell, Mr. Santorini. Hey, what an unusual piano. I wonder if my keyboard does anything like that. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Just get rid of all this. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, I think it's working. <laughs> oh, it's you two. That's right, Mr. J. I thought you were the man in the moon. Oh, well, nearly. We've got a counting song about the moon. And about the number one. Would you introduce us, please? Oh, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, Morris and Millie's numerical melodies present the number one moon tune. Ten, nine, nine eight, seven, six, six five, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! We got into our rocket and we travelled from our planet. On a dark and dangerous voyage. We were glad that we began it. For after several days, we entered orbit round the moon. And ever since we landed, we've been dancing to this tune. One step, you will buck a hand. Is a giant leap for mankind on one moon. In one sky, so come on everybody, have a try. One Earth. One Sun. One planet Saturn. One moon. Rocking with our rocket. To a number one tune. Rocking with our rocket like they do on the moon. Rocking with our rocket and they're starting to zoom. One step long and one step short. Come on, everybody, be an astronaut. 
one shooting star, one planet Mars. One Milky Way, one planet Mercury, when we're rocking with our rocket, come and rock it with me. One. Oh, wow. One. Look at that. One. Oh, Maurice. One. Number one cupboard. Oh, it's a mop. What can you make with that? This man has got some of the strangest clothes I've ever seen. He has. Now, what do you think we should call him? Well. What's that noise? It sounds like drums. It's coming from the story cupboard. Oh, soldier, soldier, won't you marry me with your musket, pipe and drum? Oh, no, dear maid, I cannot marry you, for I have no trousers to put on. So off she went to her grandfather's chest, and she brought him some trousers of the very, very best. And the soldier put them on. Oh, soldier, soldier, won't you marry me with your musket, pipe and drum? Oh, no, dear maid, I cannot marry you. For I have no coat to put on. So what? She went to her grandfather's chest and she brought him a coat of the very, very best. And the soldier put it on. Oh, soldier, soldier, won't you marry me with your musket, fife and drum? Oh, no, dear maid, I cannot marry you, for I have a wife of my own. I think he deserved that, don't you? Oh. oh! So the drum was a clue. Oh, I don't understand this puzzle at all. First we had all those clothes, then the man in the moon who was wearing the clothes. Oh, that's right. Good. And uh, now this drum. Well, I can't see the connection at all. It's his name. His name? Drum. I've never heard of anyone called Drum, have you? Or perhaps it's someone called Mr. Drum. Oh, that's right. Good. I can see we've still got some thinking to do. And who better to help you than I, the great Santorini? Mr. Santorini, you're back. Yes, well, I was passing Mr. Jolly, so I thought I'd drop in. Well, I'm jolly glad you did. Hey, perhaps you and your piano could help me with the last clue. Well, we'll do our best, Mr. Jolly. <laughs> Select some music. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, how about this one? Uh-huh. Ah, an interesting one. A song. Well, a love song, oh. Mr. Jolly. Nice. <laughs> and I think this one calls for a band as well. Oh, I I'm sorry, I, I haven't got a band. Oh, no, no problem. You leave it to me. <laughs> and the piano, of course. <laughs> How do you like to spoon with me? How do you like to spoon with me? Sit beneath an oak tree large and shady Calling me your footsie wootsie baby How do you like to hug and squeeze Dangle me upon your knees 
How do you like to be my lovey-dovey? How do you like to spoon with me? Upon your ease, how'd you like to be my loving Davy? How'd you like to spoon with me? Oh, that was great, Mr. Santorini, and I loved your spoon band. There, success. Oh, look, a great big spoon. Well, I think you'll find that great big spoon is really called. A ladle. A ladle? Oh, thanks very much, Mr. Santorini. Yes, any time, Mr. Jolly. Now, did you say that was your last clue? Oh, it is, yeah. We'd better go and fix it on. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. There we are. I think it's time we guessed what Rosie's song is. Come on, everybody, let's guess what Rosie's song is. So, what have we got then? We've got, um... Oh, we've got the boots. That's the one you bought me, wasn't it? The boots. And, oh, the hat. And, oh, and the coat. Okay. Oh, boots, hat, coat. Oh, and trousers. trousers. It's all about clothes. Oh, there's the man in the moon. Oh, yeah, someone called Mr. Drum. The ladle. And the ladle. This is a very hard one. Do you know what it is? Does anybody here know? <laughs> Jennifer! Aiken Drum. Is it Aiken Drum, Rosie? It is! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There was a man lived in the moon, lived in the moon, lived in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. of a flower pot, a flower pot, a flower pot. His hat was made of a flower pot, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his trousers were made of lemonade bottles, lemonade bottles, lemonade bottles. His trousers were made of lemonade bottles, and his name was Aiken Drum. He played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. His boots were made of shoe boxes, shoe boxes, shoe boxes. His boots were made of shoe boxes, and his name was Aiken Drum. And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Aiken Drum. Come on, everyone, let's go oh, around the bell. Oh, 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 bye, Mr. Jolly. Bye, 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 bye Mr. Santorini. Bye, 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 Missy. Bye, bye everyone. Bye. bye. Thank you, Mr. Jolly, and thank you, Mr. Mop. I did like your fuzzy hairstyle. There'll be more from Playdays tomorrow at the same time of 3.25. And don't go away, because those Star Hill ponies are galloping right up. Mm -hmm.